On the internet? <laughs> no, it no, never happened. Never. <laughs> So, uh, what do we have going on? Like the Top footage over here, like is yeah. So walk us through what's going Absolutely. on in mankind. What's Adam up to over here? Yeah, it's uh, uh, to put uh, people in context. Uh, what you're saying, uh, Adam Jensen is going to a ghetto called uh, Golem City. And uh, in the world of Mankind Divided, there's a lot of tension between uh, augmented people and uh, the naturals, Holy you can shit. say that. And uh, now governments are putting in place a lot of restrictive laws to put those people in those ghettos and everything. So when that kind of segregation happens, right. uh, there's a lot, there's a rise of terrorism and uh, a lot of uh, 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 violence and, and, uh, and, uh, and whatnot. And in this world now, there's been a lot of terrorist attacks recently. And at the beginning of the game, Adam Jensen is caught in one and he has eventually through the is a uh, own investigation he has to go into that ghetto to find uh, the potential uh, uh, responsibles behind it because uh, the, the ghetto uh, is the home for a uh, faction called the augmented rights coalition right and those guys are trying to fight for the freedom for augmented citizens but now they are the prime suspects and we need to go in and uh, and confront the leader of that group uh, his name is Talos Rocket there we go. We're going to lay down some punishment. So, does this have the same approach as previous Deus Ex games where you can just, I mean, like, do a it lot better. of stealth? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or everyone's going to hate you. That's right. <laughs> you can still walk from the beginning of the game to the end with your fridge if you want. Like, yeah. all the same flexibility. <laughs> I love it. But uh, no, it's, it was really important that we keep the same uh, four gameplay pillars, still combat, uh, social and hacking. And this time around, compared to HR, uh, we wanted to beef up the combat experience a little bit more to be more on par with the uh, stealth experience that we had. And uh, uh, in the last game, the way was balanced. Uh, a lot of people thought that there was a bias uh, in, uh, for stealth and uh, you needed to play that way, but it's right. not true. We want the play Players to be able to play this game the way they want to play it, and we made sure that this time around that uh, combat feels as legitimate as uh, as stealth. But you can still go uh, invincible and make sure you're not killing anyone. And this time around, we mean it 100%. Well, so so no, no one can die. You, you, you exactly. Finish the game with no one exactly. die. No boss no that one. you have to kill. It's exactly. Just, 100%. Yes. I'm really happy you just brought that word up. I got a question. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was reading some words on the internet device, and I saw that you guys really want to bring it home on bosses this time around. You guys want to nail awesome boss encounters for people that want to jump in on that. It, it Baby shed light? It, it always been the case. It's just that on Human Revolution at some point maybe we had too much to chew with the time we had left to finish sure. the game. But Absolutely. That's why there was a huge article. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell it how I see it, man. Yeah, I'm a we, fan, so yeah. I want to know. So, so yeah, uh, this time around, like from from day one, we 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 took action and uh, we put people in place and making sure that from the ground up we would allo uh, allocate the resources we <laughs> need to make sure that this happens and we don't repeat the same mistake as uh, the last game. And everyone right now just went. <sighs> Yeah, what a relief. So happy I asked. Yes. And your answer was great. <laughs> one, one thing that seemed really evident from the footage that I saw was that, like, it seems like you'll get to know the enemy, like, your your enemy a lot better in this game. Like, I feel like in Human Revolution, uh, like, there were these really badass enemies and bosses, but, like, yeah. I never had the chance to really kind of, like, know their backstory, nor about them, what they're exactly. like, you know, were they just yeah. mercenaries? It felt a little bit empty to me. And yeah. now it feels like, at least from what I saw in the trailer, just, like, there's, they have a cause. They have, like, yeah. you know, a reason right. for why they're acting that way. It's like, deeper. And I, and I really like that connection between, like, why are they acting the way they're acting? And it was really important to us to go in that direction and, like, to get, uh, to give uh, those characters a sense of purpose. And whether you agree or not with them you you understand in what context they are and what can lead a human being to act in a certain way instead of another so that was really important to get that in and uh, we're trying to avoid the fully black or white kind of thing we want to go nuanced and etc yeah that was the, uh, you guys are there the gun arms. I'm just why I have not even listened to you guys I'm just watching <laughs> <laughs> so that was the gun arms, uh, was the great. gun arm uh, feature. Uh, now it was the Tesla gun arm, and it allows you to to knock out uh, up to four characters, uh, NPCs at once, and awesome. it's non-lethal and everything. So you can use it in stealth, but you can also go in combat, and you're in this situation, and you just like unleash that gun arm, and bam, those guys go away for the moment, you know. So uh, what was important for us also with the combat, it was not just to make it more visceral with more uh, explosions or more uh, reaction to the environment, but it was also to to support better whether if you you want to play literally or non-literally 
uh, and uh, it was important that you can might you you might want to go combat, but it doesn't mean you want to kill. And sure, the last game sure. you were kind of like combat was about killing and right. uh, sparing the, the life of people was more stealthy. So now we wanted to mix that thing up to make sure that whether uh, you have a playstyle or another, you can still be a, a massive killer or not. So. Damn, that's pretty. So timeline wise, now we're with Mankind Divided, we're even closer to like when the original Deus Ex happens, right? Will we see more references to like the original Deus Ex? Is that a secret? Is it still we're too far off timeline-wise to kind of get into that? This we're still in the uh, the era of the human revolution, like 2027, now 2029. So it's a direct continuity to to what happened in the last game and everything. Right. So we're in the same kind of uh, mood from uh, all perspectives, I would say. But I'm not saying that there won't be stuff. Of right. But I'm just saying. J it. Just saying, uh, I hear that, JF. <laughs> I, I hear it, bro. Just two years happened. Just, just two years. Okay, just curious. Uh, so I got a quick question. Yeah. What's your play style? Like, what do you, whenever you um, play, because I know you play. What's, what's your go-to? I'm more the stealthy guy, and with uh, a mix of sparing lives and sometimes ran randomly killing people. Nice. I'm just a, a dolphin. I'll bet the psychopath. That's swimming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I actually <laughs> went really weird. When I was younger, I always like I was like, okay, 